this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to adjust YouTube channel's upload default. That's right, when you're uploading a video, this is the way you can actually have some defaults that automatically fill in the information for you, so you don't have to always key the same thing in over and over again when you're uploading your videos. And I'll show you that here in just a moment, but before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that come out every week on Thursday. That's my main day to go to, and I I hit it about 99.9% .9 of the time. So keep checking back every Thursday for a new video. Okay, let's get started. What we want to do is go to our YouTube channel. So we're going to go up here. Now, if you're not signed into the uh, your Gmail that's connected to the YouTube or your YouTube account that's connected to the channel, make sure you are. And once you are, um, you can go up here. And if you're not on the right channel at the time, you can go down, click the top right profile image, and then it will bring up this menu and then you can switch account so you can switch to the right YouTube channel you want to check. And we're already on the right one. We're on Dave's computer tips. So that's the one we want. So we're going to click YouTube studio. And then once you do that, we're going to go in here and then you're going to go to the left menu like we like to do. And you're going to go down until you see settings and that's right below copyright. I'm going to click on settings. And here we go. We got a, a few choices here. We have general channel, upload defaults, permissions, community agreements. Well, we want upload defaults. So that's what we're looking for. So you're going to click on that. And once you click on that, here's the first tab. The first tab is basic info. Very simple. You have a title. Now, once you fill this out, this title will always pop up when you're uploading your video. Now, this is not set in stone. You can change it anytime you want. And when you're putting the video up, you can also edit whatever you're doing in here. It doesn't, it's not permanent. It just puts it in there, you know, as a default. And then you can change it if you need to. So put the title. I usually do how-to video because it's going to be a how-to video 99.9% um, .9 of the time. Um, then you have the description. So if you have some stuff that's always in this description, that's a great place to put it in here, the default. So it's always popped up there. And I'm going to do that for this channel since I totally forgot to do that. And then you can fill out the rest when you're uploading the video. So if you have more description for the video, that's where you do it here. So it's always public on us, but there's other options. You can go private, unlisted. We're always public. So it's always going to be the default. And then your tags. So if you have tags, that obviously we would have how-to videos or a computer, anything to do with tech and how-to, we'd have tags in here for that. So it's always defaulted. I haven't set that up. Obviously, I need to set this up. And so, um, But I wanted to show you guys how this works first before I did my own. So that's how you do it. So you just set that all up. Once you're done, you can hit save. But I would suggest wait till you're done with all the tabs because once you hit save, it takes you out of the settings screen again. So you have to go back down to the left menu and hit settings again and go back to upload default. So it's much easier just to finish all your updates. So we're going to go to advanced settings, which is the next tab. So after you fill this all out, go to the next tab. And actually what we'll do is let's do this real quick. So we have like, we'll just do videos and we're going to the next tab. We're going to change something. So here's the next tab. It's the advanced settings, which has automatic chapters, chapters, and key moments make your video easier to watch. You can overwrite automatic suggestions by creating your own chapters in the, so if you want to do that, you can, you can learn more by clicking this link. I'm not going to really do that in this one. So what you can do, allow automatic chapters and key. I usually leave that checked. It's much simpler that way. The standard YouTube license is always the one I choose. I've never used this other one, so I don't sure how that one works. So you guys can, if you know what that is, go for it or research it if you want. Um, category, we put those on science and technology. That's what we are, technology. Um, the language is always English on ours because that's what we speak and what our um, videos are in. And then your caption, I never bother this one. You can click it. They give you a lot of different ones. This content has never been aired on television in the US. And that's usually the one I choose since we're in the US. And then it's English and you can change it to any language that your video might be in. So you can change this. This is the title and description language. It's English because that's what we wrote. So make sure you have that right. And then under comments, you have allow all comments, hold potentially in inappropriate comments for v review. I usually leave it on this. When we first started this, I had hold all comments for review, but I found out this actually does a pretty good job weeding out the the spam and stuff like that. So I leave it on that. You can pick either one you want. You can even disable your comments if you want. Uh, and then you have show how many viewers like this video. And that's what I have shown here. It's checked. You don't have to show that. You can uncheck that and turn that off if you want. So that's what we did on this one. So I'm going to go, yes, we're going to do, we had picked English, just like we nine. And that's how you, that's the advanced settings. You can go through here and fix them the way you like it. The last tab is monetization. I like that word. 
Um, so type of ad, since we are a monetized um, channel, we get these options. And I like to click all the boxes. And then also over here, location of video ads, ads before and after your video will be enabled automatically. And then you can do mid-roll during. If they're long enough, they offer this part. So you can set that up the way you want it. Then after you're all done, like I said, so you've you've gone through the basic info, you've gone to the advanced settings, and you've gone to monetization, then you just hit save. And then you're all done. That's how you adjust your YouTube channel's upload default. That's all, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.